Good evening, this is All India Radio Kohima. I am Nobin Pradhan with the evening news and these are the headlines. President Ramnath Kovind says new education policy will restore India's glory as a great centre of learning globally. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman says bulk of additional spendings to go towards people-centric schemes. Country registers highest single-day recovery of COVID patients and Nagaland reports 35 new cases of COVID-19 and 40 recoveries. The details. President Ramnath Kovind today said that the national education policy aims to reorient the education system towards meeting the needs of the 21st century. He said the policy will not only strengthen the future of our youth but also set the country on course in becoming Atmanirbhar Bharat. Kovind said this while inaugurating the Visitors' Conference on Implementation of New Education Policy 2020 Higher Education through video conference. He said the policy sets the vision of developing an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing quality education to all. Kovind said the NEP has been prepared after extensive participation involving 2,50,000 gram panchayats, more than 12,500 local bodies and about 675 districts. He said more than 2 lakh suggestions have been taken into consideration. The president said universities and institutes of higher education should be centers of innovation. They should provide innovative solutions to national and local problems. He said India was a globally respected education hub during ancient times, but today India's higher education institutions do not get high positions and global rankings. Kovind said effective implementation of the NEP is likely to restore India's glory as a great center of learning. He said one of the targets of this policy is to increase the gross enrollment ratio in higher education to 50% by 2035. Speaking on the occasion, Education Minister Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank said the new education policy will promote research and innovation in the country. He said this policy will also make the country a superpower of knowledge. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has said that the bulk of additional spendings sought in the first batch of supplementary demands for grants would be utilized towards people-centric schemes to help them amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Replying in the Lok Sabha after discussion on one of the highest supplementary demands for grants in Indian history, the minister laid out details for the additional expenditure of over 2,35,000 crore rupees with net cash outgo of nearly 1,66,000 crore rupees. The Lok Sabha approved the first batch of supplementary demands for grants in its sitting yesterday, which lasted till late in the night. The supplementary funds will mainly be utilized by the government to meet expenses for combating the COVID-19 pandemic. Sita Raman informed that the government will be pushing an additional 40,000 crore rupees in the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act scheme to help sustain the demand-driven employment scheme amidst the viral pandemic. She said with the fresh addition, the total outgo towards MG Narega scheme would surpass 1 lakh crore rupees. The country today registered the highest single-day recoveries of 95,880 COVID patients. The health ministry said the recovery rate of COVID-19 has further improved to 79.28%. The total number of recoveries has reached over 42 lakh. Of the new recovered cases, about 60% are being reported from five states, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Uttar Pradesh. The ministry said India has overtaken the USA and became number one in terms of global COVID-19 recoveries. The constantly increasing recoveries have ensured that the actual case load of the country is reduced and currently comprises only 19.10% of the total positive cases. Presently, the total number of active cases in the country is 10,13,000. The ministry said effective implementation of centers strategic and graded test, track and treat approach has led to higher recoveries and lower fatality. Currently, India's case fatality rate is at 1.61%, which is one of the lowest globally. In the last 24 hours, 1,247 deaths were reported, taking the toll to 85,619. India's COVID-19 tally has crossed 53 lakhs. Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pang New Pom said 35 new cases of COVID-19 positive were reported today out of 526 results received. The minister in the tweet said of the new cases, 23 were reported in Dimapur, 10 from Kohima and 2 from Zuneboto. Pang Nui informed that 40 recoveries were reported today. The minister said 28 recoveries were reported from Kohima, 10 from Dimapur and 2 from Tuensang. The total confirmed COVID-19 positive cases in the state now stands at 5,392, while the number of recoveries has gone up to 4,150. 
The total active case stands at 1,206. You are listening to the news from All India Radio, Kohima. Nagaland State Disaster Management Authority NSDMA Home Department said the state has experienced 29% seasonal deficiency in rainfall from 1st June to September 17th. NSDMA, in coordination with Regional Meteorological Center Guwahati, said Twensang experienced the most deficient rainfall at 63%, followed by Woka at 53%. Capital Kohima experienced a deficit of 33%. It said rainfall activities in the state will get stepped up from tomorrow and continue till Tuesday next and again from 25th to 26th. NSDMA has urged the public to exercise caution to avoid any eventualities during this period. All the district management authorities and other line departments have been asked to be on alert during this period. The Rajya Sabha today passed the Epidemic Diseases Amendment Bill 2020. The bill amends the Epidemic Diseases Act 1897 to include protection for healthcare service personnel combating epidemic diseases and expands the power of the central government to prevent the spread of such diseases. The bill repeals the Epidemic Diseases Amendment ordinance that was promulgated in April this year. The legislation makes harm, injury, hurt or danger to the life of healthcare service personnel as a cognizable and non-bailable offence. It has provisions of imprisonment from three months to five years and a fine between 50,000 rupees to 2 lakh rupees. Speaking on the bill, Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan said the ordinance was brought in view of the attack on the healthcare workers and the country felt the need to bring such legislation to check such incidents in the COVID-19 pandemic situation. He informed that the government is working on the National Public Health Act and 14 states have sent their suggestions in this regard. The House also negated the resolution moved by Binoy Vishwam of CPI and KC Venugopal of the Congress demanding disapproval of the ordinance related to the bill. Rajya Sabha today passed the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code Second Amendment Bill 2020. It amends the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code 2016, which provides a time-bound process for resolving insolvency in companies and among individuals. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman moved the bill. Insolvency is a situation where individuals or companies are unable to repay the outstanding debt. The bill seeks to temporarily suspend initiation of the Corporate Insolvency Resolution Process CIRP, under the Code. It replaces the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code Amendment Ordinance 2020 promulgated in June this year. Over 22,000 armed forces personnel got affected from the COVID-19 while 41 lost their lives so far. This was stated by the Minister of State for Defence, Sripad Nayak, in a written reply in the Rajya Sabha today. He informed that adequate safety measures have been put in place to ensure the health of armed forces. He said all the armed forces hospitals are fully equipped to treat the COVID patients. And to end the news, a reminder of the headlines. President Ramnath Kovind says new education policy will restore India's glory as a great center of learning globally. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman says bulk of additional spendings to go towards people-centric schemes. Country registers highest single-day recovery of COVID patients and Nagaland reports 35 new cases of COVID-19 and 40 recoveries. And that's all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.